Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, grade two. Hello. Okay, let's wait for the others. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, kindly sit properly. All right, so this time I want you to get your paper. Okay. Kindly get your paper and write numbers. White boy. Mm. Okay, kindly write numbers one to ten. Paper, ha, paper and pencil. I'm not asking you to answer in the chat box nor in whiteboard. Yes. Can we use whiteboard or no? I just said we're not gonna use whiteboard. Teacher, why do you sound like you're 20? You sound like you're just a teenager. Huh? Teacher Diana sounds like a teenager. Oh, wait. I'm already 40 years old. 40? Mm. Yes, old. <laughs> but you sound like a bata in the teacher. You act like it. Okay, so I guess everyone is ready now. Let's start. Okay. All right, so let me share my screen. the given fractions using the bar line. So you have the following numbers. One, from 1 to 10. Okay, so from 1 to 10, write down the given fractions using the blocks or bar graphs. Fraction, ha? Huh? Not just the shaded part. Those who can um those who are actually confused, you can still ask. You can still ask teacher. So let me just give number one as an example for this. So see, there are four bar lines and there is a one shaded um bar. So the answer for this is one, four, four. Hmm. Okay, so kindly continue the rest, please, from numbers. Oh, I remember we did this last week. Yes. One, two. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. No, my mic.
Um, teacher, do we also need to write the boxes? Again, I'm gonna remind you again that I didn't say to use the chat box. Instead, I asked you to use the paper. No, teacher. Not listening, like huh? Don't let, no, teacher, like the boxes in the screen. Huh? Are we what? supposed to write the boxes in the screen also? What do you mean boxes in the screen? You mean the like picture? The number one. The picture. Uh -huh. The one no. has like the one. Okay. Answer directly. Okay, are you all done? Not yet. Okay. Teacher, I'm done. Teacher, Diana, I'm done. Okay, wait first. Let's wait for the others. I'm done. I'm already done with everything. Me I'm too. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, bitch. I'm done. Okay. 
Okay, Abby, are you finished? I'm almost. I'm already at the 10. Alex, where is Alex? Your teacher. Are you finished, Alex? Maika, Naisa, Andre, Aldez. Andre, teacher. Two minutes. Two minutes to finish the activity for test one. I'm I'm done picture. I'm done, teacher. Teacher. I'm done. Yes, please wait for the others. Oh. I have to be number five. Is easy. All this, are you finished? Almost. How about Adrian? Where is Adrian? Adrian here. Mm. Uh -huh. Positioning your camera properly. Alex? Yes, teacher. Kindly place your camera properly so I can see you all. Okay. Okay, so um, it seems like everyone is done. Done, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's proceed to test two. So for the test two, so this is from numbers 11 to 16. Identify whether the given um, angles are obtuse, right angle, acute angle, or straight angle. Teacher, what is number 12? So, oh, wait. Um. Um, Right, so let me let me write numbers for this one. So this is number eleven. Okay. Number twelve. Number thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. So for the part right here, for the second test, you can actually use... Teacher, do we have to write the name? I don't know what we're doing. Because this box is below. What were you doing earlier, Sean? You didn't listen? Okay, so for this part right here, kindly write the given angles. If this angle is obtuse, 
right angle, acute angle, or straight angle. So I want you to draw the angle so that you will um you will understand whether the given angle is what is being asked. Okay. Okay, so let me just write down. Wait, wait. Okay. So. Obtuse right angle. Acute angle or straight angle. Okay, so these are the angles that you need to identify with the given pictures. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, Diana, I'm done. Mm, let's wait for the others. Okay. I'm done as well. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Can you see the picture properly? Yes, It's so fun. But I was Sandra. Did you know? He played cool. Okay, so I guess everyone finish. No, I mean I'm six now. I mean sixteen. Okay. I got a question. How can you, you know, back the angle? How can you? Huh? How did you, you know, do the acute angle like this? And then how did you like flip it like this? I just use Microsoft Word for this one, Zach. So easy. I'm done. How about Andre? Are you finished, Andre? Last number. Okay. Not the last number. At 16. Yes, Alex. Nothing. I just said that that was number 16, Andre said. Oh, okay. Alex, stop cutting your hair, huh? Alex, huh? 
When you're bored, you don't cut your hair. I'm done. I'm done. Well, I need to think and I just cut it. <laughs> it's getting shorter, oh? Did you need um, I don't I guess like the like hair to be short. Mm. I want to dye my hair blue. <laughs> what did you say, Zach? I want to dye my hair blue. <laughs> what? Blue. You should try if you want to. My uh, Kuya Ash wants to dye his hair lime, even he wants his nail polish lime. Uh, I, I know why. Because the lime color for the hair is so trendy right now. Yeah, my Kuya Ash favorite color is lime. He, he wants everything lime. Yeah, and because of the hair, anime. Nails. Mm. Because of the anime. Also got your like the lime hair so nice. Okay, so I guess everyone is finished. Let's continue. Aldis, are you done, Aldis? Not yet? Mm. Done. Okay. So let's continue for number um seventeen. 17 to 21. Right here. This is the uh, test three part. So computing the perimeter. Okay. 17 to 21. It's Find the perimeter of the given um, mm -hmm. shapes. Straight from one to six. Okay. This one is easy for you, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Will we write the angle? Huh? Will we write the angle like the acute angle, the straight angle, or the angle? We're in this part right here, computing the perimeter. Oh, so I got to draw the angle. Why are you still in angle, Zach? We're already in computing the perimeter. Test the three. He was done in the angle. Already. We have to find the perimeter. Yes, kindly find the perimeter, please. Find the perimeter of the given shape. Okay. Remember that. In finding the perimeter, there is a formula for that. Don't forget to write your solution. Four. Write your solution, aha, uh -huh, on how you solved it. Four. In your given test, in your given exam, I actually wrote there the um, two points for each number if you include writing the formula in the solution.
Okay, so since we don't have enough time, we're going to continue this on Friday. Okay, so we're going to continue this on Friday. So don't throw the paper you use in answering. Keep it because we're going to check your answer on Friday. Teacher, why did my mommy said we have no class on Thursday? Yes, on Thursday we don't have class. So no. Edel Fitter. Oops. So it's an it's a holiday. Holiday. Yes, uh, it's, it's holiday, and on Friday we're going to continue our class. Okay. Huh? Okay, so we'll see each other again later in English class. So keep your paper and okay, don't throw it because we're going to check it on Friday. Okay, teacher. Okay, goodbye for now, grade two, and see you later. Bye. Okay.